Gareth, can we start with a word association game? Okay. Moscow. Red Square. Waistcoat. Embarrassment. <laughs> Columbia. Coffee. Pickford. Cabbage cream egg. <laughs> Penalties. <laughs> the team talk that you gave in between extra time and penalties. What was being said at that point and what were you talking about? I think it's easy to get emotional and slip into a negative way of thinking at that time. So just reminding them of what we'd talked about and what we'd worked on. <laughs> then being collectively on the same page, I think was important. And Dyer does it! And England are through to the quarterfinals and a date with Sweden. My life experience tells me not to underestimate Sweden. Um, we know exactly how they'll play. And the, the game where we beat them in the under-21s went to the 89th minute. And it might take us 89, 90 minutes to break them down again. We've got to be ready for whatever. They have really good players. And they have a very clear identity. And they're happy to win matches without having as much of the ball as the opposition. Sweden are more experienced. We've not been favourites in knockout football for a while because we haven't had many matches. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the whole thing is a new experience for us, really. There is so much belief around this squad now. And at home, obviously, everybody's so excited. If I'd said to you less than two years ago when you took this job, quarter-final, would you buy that? We recognised that um, we could go home now and we feel that there's been a reconnection with the fans. But equally, Maybe you don't get this opportunity again. And um, maybe some of the cards that have fallen for us up to this point with injuries and things don't happen in the same way again. For 28 years since England were in a semi-final and World Cup. So it, it would be a, an incredible achievement, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think, I think it's helped us to know what we are and to know what our strengths are and to know the bits that we're not perfect in. Um, and that's allowed this team to bond and, and grow and we're going to need all of those attributes to beat what is a, a, a team that are very similar in those areas of togetherness and, and a clear identity. Is football coming home? <laughs> well, we've got a really good opportunity to, uh, to go a step beyond um, where we've been for a number of years. And it was 10 years since we'd won a knockout game and we've talked about creating our own history and we have the chance to do that again.